team. They've been on a roll. They've won 13 of the last 16 games. Um, they lead the Sun Belt West Indians with the win today over Texas State. Um, what would it mean for you, the team, and the university to continue that role through the Sun Belt tournament and possibly win the first championship in school history? I mean, that would be an amazing accomplishment for sure. You know, I mean, that's that's the goal. You know, um, there's a tough road ahead. You know, and. Uh, but just to give a little bit of clarity, you know, like volleyball uh, has done a really good job uh, within the Sun Belt. Like we are truly playing a divisional schedule, you know, so Texas State is going to be the number one seed. They've won the West, um, you know, even though our records are, are pretty similar because we only count the divisional games. No, no, and I, I think it was a good question. So it's good clarity. Um, and so, you know, I, I think that what we're talking about is, is that that's the most wins uh, in Sun Belt play in Troy history. You know, uh, last year, you know, this group set it at 11. This year, the new group gets it to 12, you know, with another match to play. That's a very good Georgia Southern team. Uh, they're going to come back tomorrow uh, with a lot of fight and a lot of competitive pride. And so we know it's going to be a dogfight tomorrow. And so, um, you know, we're just looking to make sure that we're continuing to build good momentum after a really tough weekend last week against Texas State, you know, like, we think we've seen the top of the conference, um, you know, and for us to compete at that level, uh, there's a couple things we need to do better, uh, especially offensively. We have to be way more efficient um, if we're going to make that run and have a chance at a conference championship. Um, but this group has been talking about that since since January, you know, and the piece with that is that you got to lay your heart out there. You got to give it your all, you know, and if you're going to do that, you got to risk it just like crushing you. Um, but if you get there, it's going to be really, really sweet, and the journey along the way is going to be worth it. And so, you know, that's been our focus, you know, since January, quite honestly. Um, Julia Brooks, her last regular season game is tomorrow, and she will finish her decorated volleyball career as a church in the Sun Belt Tournament. Uh, can you just speak on how she's better than the team, both on the floor and in the locker room? Uh, you do not have enough time for that. <laughs> uh, Julia Brooks is one of um, the, the best people that I have ever she's one of the best person I don't even know what that word is you know like she's just good people and and so you know as a person she has been a pleasure to coach and get to know uh, she has made this team better from the moment she stepped on campus not just because she's a great player she is the best teammate one of the most focused and disciplined and giving uh, and caring uh, players that I have ever coached in 20 years and so she has changed this program forever uh, and so you know we'll take as many matches um, as we can have with her until it's over you know but you know, she is a special special person and has been a special special player here and every uh, teammate that she has interacted with since 2019 you know um, has just been positively impacted by her. I'm a better coach because I get to coach Julia Brooks. Yeah. And speaking of the program, when you came in as Troy's coach in 2017, the team did struggle for the first couple of years, not the best record in conference play, and just kind of struggled overall. Um, now one of the best teams in the Sun Belt and looking to be a force in the Sun Belt tournament. What, what have you learned during your time over these last six years as coach? And like, what, what can you gauge going into well, I think that, you know, when we got here, we needed to, we changed the culture, right? Like, we set new standards, we changed the culture. Uh, we were fortunate that, you know, even from the very first year, players bought in, and they believed that if they, you know, if they gave their best effort, and they were the best teammates possible, and they did those things both on and off the court, that eventually good things would happen, right? And We've tried to be really, really consistent about that. Uh, and then you, you continue to attract better people and better players, right? And maintain a good standard. Um, and, you know, you don't, it, it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know? Um, and I'm not sitting here saying we'll never use the transfer portal or anything like that, you know? But like our program has developed over the last seven years because we have recruited really quality people who have believed in you know what Troy volleyball and what this university is about 
and they have given their all to it and they have cared and loved about one another in that locker room and on campus uh, and on the court and you know we've stayed the course um, and so I think we recruit good people I think we train really really hard and I think we have a culture uh, that's really really healthy and is people centered first um, and so that's that's how you build good things. You work really, really hard and you treat people the right way. And good things happen. I just believe that to my core. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Coach. Um, can you talk about how you felt about the game overall, especially going into th sets three and four and then coming back and winning the match? How did we feel? What was the messaging, especially in those tough sets? Yeah, I was, I, you know, I was trying to <laughs> show some hope and belief. We were really shaky offensively in three and four. Um, you know, but one of the cool things is, is that you know, we got in the locker room afterwards and even after some, uh, some tough, you know, sets, you know, our, our players are still like, hey, even though we, we weren't playing our best, we were also being really good teammates, right? And, and that matters so that you can kind of just play the set that's in front of you, you know? Like, we can't play the third set and the fourth set again. All we, all we can do is focus on, on the fifth set. And I thought we did a really good job of that. Um, and, I, and we told him, it was like, hey, if our offense gets more efficient, we're going to be okay. Because we were serving great, we were passing great, we were defending pretty well um, at different times. And so we just needed to, like, settle down and be a little bit more uh, efficient offensively. And when we did that, good things happened. Perfect. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.